Finally, we have arrived. We have arrived. Here we go. The finals. Game 30 of the Netrunner Regional Championship Tournament in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Pandemonium Books and Games. On the left, from New York, Chris H., the second seed, playing Kit. On the right, Sam, last name begins with L, playing HB. If Chris wins this game, he wins. Done, New York champion. If Sam wins, we go to game 31, which will be a winner-take-all game. Double hedge fun install from HB. Magnum Opus set up from Kit. Biotic Gilahans. You know, both of these uh, number one and number two corps here have Gilahans in the deck. <laughs> I guess you cannot deny the power of that card. Ridiculously strong. Okay. Kit takes big money with the Mopus. Runs the remote. Adonis, get out of here. That's what the Opus is going to do. Trash all the things. Man, he installed that Adonis, gained a credit for installing it. Runner ran, spending a click. So the clicks cancel out. Spending three credits to trash. So you gain one and they lose three. Imagine a card where it's like, play this card. Gain a credit. Runner loses three credits. Amazing. That's what that was. At least make them res the... Well, you can't. That could have been an agenda, right? That's why you have to run it. And if you let him res the Adonis, he might ice it up. Okay, SMC comes. Run the remote. Ichi. Oh, great against Magnum Opus. Just throwing an Ichi out there. Double clicks the trash program subs. Runs the trace for one. Scores two points. Ooh. Mm. You know, if he would have run that on a later click, you could have forced him to go get his uh, decoder with that Ichi. But he ran on an early click, so he's able to go right through. HQ gets cover. R and D interface going for the lock. I guess if he's got a heal of hands, he's got money. Uh, if he hasn't scored, it's either because he doesn't have the agendas or he doesn't have the biotics. So let's go to R&D and find out. See some ice. He's not rezzing. Maybe it's a big old Heimdall or something. He doesn't want to lose all his money. Go to HQ, wall static. There must be an agenda in there. <laughs> uh, he said boost, boost, break. And it's like, uh... <laughs> You don't have any icebreakers, so there we go. Gordian Blade, which by the way, you don't use a Gordian Blade to boost boost break a wall static, you just boost break. So SMC the Gordian Blade. Kit's ability activates the first ice encountered this turn. Boost break. Get an HQ access. It's late, people. It's like 1 a.m. when people are playing this thing. Everyone's out of their mind. Start your Netrunner tournaments, your big ones, early in the day, all right? Early morning. Ash, get out of here, because if I have to face you later, you're going to be really annoying. Much better to trash you there. All right. Second Ice and HQ. Protect those agendas. Gilahan's money. Well, I got an interface. Let's use it. Take some money. Oh, just taking eight. Taking eight from the Opus. Install Gila Hands. Everyone's money. 
Victor 2.0. Not, I mean, it's that's taxing right there, but against the uh, Gordian Blade, not so much. He's not using the Gordian Blade. He just double-clicked it, spending three clicks to see two cards from R&D. If you do that every turn, that is going to be not good for the Corp. He has to put an end to that. In such an important game, the game, uh, possibly second to last game, must win, must win for the Corp. You cannot let uh, the runner see two cards from R&D every turn with a click to spare to use on his Opus. That cannot continue. Run the remote. Heimdall. Big ice coming out. All the money's gone. Uses the Gordian Blade plus kit ability. Costs a lot. Breaks the subs. Sees the Ichi. Double clicks. Allows the trace to run. Corp has no money. Spends one. Sees Caprice, which Corp cannot res. Would have had to res it earlier anyway. And trashes it. Opus money. A lot of clicks just got canceled out there. But you have to run it. What if that's a two-pointer? More ice on the remote and some money. Hits up R&D. Caprice, trash it. Jackson, trash it. You gotta trash those things. You gotta, you gotta keep that lock. If he's got a Jackson, the lock is gone. If he's got a Caprice, oof! You might have a lot of unsuccessful R&D runs if he gets that Caprice out. Keep on with the heel of hands. Keep on installing for one credit. Go back to R&D, double click it. See a card. See a Jackson and trash it. Second Jackson gone. Take more Mopus money. Corp has been locking up his remote and his HQ. Now he locks up the R&D. Don't know how well the R&D is. It might tax him, make make it hard for him to get in there because he's using Opus. But anything in front of a code gate, which Victor Two is, is not going to completely stop him. Especially not a BioRed code gate. He can double click. I guess he's doing the math, right? To break a Victor Two with a Gordian Blade is costing you five. Double clicking it is costing you two clicks. Five credits is two and a half clicks on an Opus. You're better off double-clicking the victor to get through than using money. Economy-wise. And that just shows you how good that ice is. It's better to double-click it. Yeah, waste two clicks on this amazing ice. Holy crap, am I happy with this ice that you have to double-click every time because your other op option is not good with your ridiculously efficient code gate breaker and your ridiculous money maker. ABT comes out. We've seen two Jacksons go in the trash. Does not look like a safe ABT. He does it anyway. Throws cards out and installs a useless quandary. Maybe not completely useless because it makes the HQ second ice if it's not a code. Well, I mean, you already had two ice there, but uh, it'll cost him a credit to break with Gordian Blade. But he gains a credit from installing it because HB, that was the first thing he installed that turn. The ABT was already on the table. Two cards go into archives. If those are points, that could be very bad. Is he going to check the archives? Hits up R&D. Is he going to res the new ice? No. What's he going to do about the victor? Double clicking is most efficient, more efficient than Gordian Blade. He's doing the math on it, though. If he wants the clicks for something else this turn, like checking the remote, um, he might not want to spend he might want to spend credits instead of clicks here. Okay, he does break it with money. Sees two. Second one scores. Score is four to three in favor of the runner. Runs archives. Third, Jackson, gone. Ooh, brutal. Does he have an archive memories, maybe? Also saw a troubleshooter, new style in there. Everyone got one. Well, almost everyone got one at the tournament. There were only so many in the box. I think they had more players than they had troubleshooters. Uh-oh. He's advancing once over there. 
that tells me it's like a four for two, like a efficiency committee or an NAPD. Um, the card under it's probably Ash or Caprice, probably ungettable. Concentrate on R&D only because the remotes in HQ are impossible. You have no time. Ichi gets rezzed. But it's a code gate. It's a code gate for one run a turn. The only run the turn. He breaks the trash program subroutine. He breaks all the subroutines. Double clicks the victor. Takes two points. It is six to three. It's sort of like five to six because there's two points in that remote, obviously. The corp can push out. But R&D, he can make a run in there for sure. And you're seeing two cards with the interface, that would be game over if he saw any kind of agenda whatsoever. Um, if there's any PDs in the deck, he better make sure to keep four credits for the end of those R&D runs. Install something in the root of R&D. Is that a Caprice? That would be devastating if that were a Caprice. Uh, he could really hold the runner off for a long time. If he keeps, if he wins some side games, uh, right? Because he's going to have to pay a lot to get past the ice only to get nothing. Check in the archives. I think he's counting the caprices and ashes, uh, or maybe just seeing what upgrades are in there to guess what that could be, odds wise. Um,. Okay, he's going for R&D, despite. Uh, he's going to use the Gordian Blade and the Kit ability to deal with the Ichi, it looks like. Hmm, just thinking about it. He's double clicking the Ichi and then using money to break the subs on Victor 2. It's Ash. No money left. Uh, so you cannot access cards except for Ash. You access Ash, but you have no money. Oh, man, that is rough. He's taking the. He didn't break the brain damage subroutine on Victor 2. He's just going to use that token immediately to deal the brain out. Hits a test run. No money for the runner. Money all gone. Got an opus and a brain damage. Advance. What's probably an unstealable agenda. Oh, and did he heal a hands with his other two clicks? That's not bad. Take eight credits, Magnum Opus. Draw card. Uh oh. Uh oh. Scored the NAPD. Six to five. Game point, both sides. Game point, both sides. Install something into the remote. Is that the winning agenda? That could be a winner for the Corp. That could be a winner for the Corp. Can the runner possibly get two points? Somewhere this turn with four clicks. You get one point. One point anywhere. It's probably another heal hands in that deck. He's just got to access some cards. If he runs R&D, can he beat the Ichi? Four clicks, Magnum Opus, Gordian Blade, Sentry Code Gate, Ichi. I mean, Adana, uh, Ash. <laughs> He's got to beat Ash. The Ichi he can beat. What's going to happen? 
If he goes to HQ, is there an agenda there? Can he get in the remote if he tries? He would have to... Use his code get ability on the first ice if he reses it. Otherwise, use it on the Heimdall. Then maybe click the Ichi. Or use the code get ability on the new ice. Click the Heimdall. Let the Ichi happen. But then there could be a Caprice back there. That would be the end of it. The HQ is unbreakable with the Quandary Wall of Static. Uh... Especially now that the test run's gone. He's going to R&D, the place he can get in, conceivably. He lets Ichi trash programs and lets the trace run on Ichi. He recognizes it is the last ditch. Go all out. He can get in there without programs. Scavenge gets lost. Double-click Victor. Run the trace. Oh, he gets another uh, brain damage and a tag from the Ichi because he lost the trace. He didn't care. Saving his money for the Ash Trace. Run the Ash Trace. Run it. Let's it be four. Spends four so he gets to access, but even though he doesn't trash Ash. That's game. That's it. New York wins. Chris H. Shinteki carried him here. Kit deals the finishing blow to HV. First place, Chris H. Second place, Sam L. Amazing tournament. Amazing. Final game, 6-5. to five, With probably two points on the table. That's Netrunner right there. That is Netrunner.